What's up everybody, it's your boy Mars Man here, and welcome to Mars Man Gaming. In this video, I review Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed. Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed is the epic remaster by Black Forest Games from the original series made by Pandemic Studios. If you've never played the Destroy All Humans games, then you're definitely in for a ride. In this game, you're playing as Crypto 138, which was the clone of the original protagonist from the first installment. The story takes place 10 years after the previous game in the year 1969. Based on everything I had experienced so far, it seems this game continues to similar themes and funny moments that the first game had. As Crypto, you and your commander Orthopox 13, also known as Pox, are tasked with harvesting human brain stems due to the amount of furon DNA that is in human beings. Research would help further the furon race and keep them surviving. However, in the start of the game, the KGB had a attacked the Furon's mothership because they had threatened their power. From here, the story unravels into an outrageous and fun adventure. I was excited to get access to this game and I wanted to see how the remastered version would look in the new generation consoles. In my review, I give the good, the bad, and my final verdict. Let's start off with the good. The original Destroy All Humans 2 game had released back in 2006. For the time, the animations were pretty good for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox generation. This remaster gave the original title a much needed facelift. Crypto, Pox, and the other major characters look so much more updated in Unreal Engine 4. With higher level graphics, some of the outrageous moments of the game feel funnier due to the animations getting the next gen treatment. All five locations you travel to have their own refined touch as well. Bay City, Albion, Takushima Island, Funkuska, and the Moon each have their own distinct layouts and give the player different types of locations that are not only fun to explore, but are great arenas to cause some mayhem. I believe that fans of the original series will appreciate the amount of work that was done to update the classic title into this new system. It was very well done and a positive for me. The gameplay of this game was also very good. If you have played the original titles, you always remember the insane fights that would happen between you and the waves of enemies sent against you from all sides. The movements of Crypto feel much more polished and is way easier to chain together different combination attacks in the remastered game compared to the previous version. What is great about the gameplay is the continued improvements that were implemented in the last remastered Destroy All Humans game. Improved movements using the hover boots, added powers and weapons, make the gameplay feel smooth and fun to experience. This game reminds me of Ratchet & Clank with its style of craziness and over-the-top action. Black Forest Games did a great job of taking what we love from the original and bringing it to an updated version. The open world was also given an upgrade compared to the classic title. There is so much more for you to do in this game that it never feels dull. The side quests feel as fleshed out as the main mission, giving multiple objectives to complete for bonus points. The best part is that you can technically complete the mission in any way you desire. Want to do everything in a stealthy way? You can. Want to destroy everything and walk through the front door? Also doable. This game prides itself in the ability for you to do as much as possible. With the good, we need to talk about the bad. One of the issues I saw with this game was the number of small glitches that hit the game in my playthrough. On several occasions, there were times it seemed that there would be a cut in the picture when I was talking to an NPC. This doesn't break the game, but it felt annoying when it would happen for several minutes straight. There were also times where I was facing off against a major boss and the sound would cut off basically lowering the tension of the situation. Most times, developers usually fix these issues before the game officially releases in a day one patch. But this is something that needs to be fixed as soon as possible. Like the glitches mentioned earlier, there seems to be issues with rendering cutscenes in several parts of the game. Since this game is only being released on next gen consoles, I felt that these issues should be less common but that doesn't seem to be the case. There were several times in cutscenes where textures of the surroundings did not load properly and it did not feel as if it was next gen. In some cases, when I had possessed an NPC to continue the mission, the character model I was using could be seen in other NPCs directly next to me. It was oddly funny at times, but it showed me that the engine could not create multiple NPC designs. I was seeing multiple versions of myself quite often. These may seem like small issues, but the more they occurred throughout my playthrough made me feel concerned for the rest of the game. Overall, this game had both positives and negatives. Being a fan of the original games made me feel more inclined to review this title and see where they had made their improvements. The visual enhancements were very well done in the Unreal Engine, and it felt like a breath of fresh air seeing how much crypto had changed since 2006. The gameplay in open world, in my opinion, was the best aspect of this remaster, and it feels much smoother compared to the past. However, the various issues in rendering and glitches did sour the experience in some cases, because due to the availability only being on next-gen consoles, I felt like these problems should be addressed. Hopefully these problems can be fixed in future patches. I'm giving this game a 7.5 out of 10. I felt that Black Forest Games did a great job remastering this classic title for the next generation devices. Gameplay was smooth and enjoyable throughout my playthrough, but the glitches seemed to hinder the overall performance of the game. If you're a fan of the series, I believe this is a definite buy. For those new to the series, I can guarantee you'll have a fun experience with this outrageous game. My biggest hope is that the glitches and bugs are fixed soon because I think overall this remaster 
has a great foundation. For more gaming content, reviews, and live streams, come check out our channel on YouTube. This is Marsman from Marsman Gaming, signing off. Peace out, guys.